I typically do videos based on the support that I'm helping people out online. And this fellow, he had issues where he was flashing the, the, the TH3D firmware, but it wasn't, it wasn't working, it wasn't going through. And so I linked him to this, and through that, he was able to get the bootloader flashed. And so it was the, the CR10, if nothing, if, if everything doesn't work, uh, instructables that, uh, that, that just, it works. And so you don't have to worry, you're gonna get the bootloader on there no matter what. Well, he was still having issues. And what I've realized lately is that Windows has been doing an update or something where it, it breaks the drivers. And so two things, you need to one, if it's Windows 10, you need to disable the signed driver enforcement. I'm not gonna be doing a video on this specifically because it involves turning off your computer and stream with my computer, but it's not terribly hard. Um, you'll do an advanced restart and then just carefully make sure that you select these things because you can mess up your computer in this, this, uh, in this menu, but do the, uh, do this part. And uh, there are probably some pictures online and things like that. Later on, if, if there's need or if people have trouble following this, I can, I can make a tutorial and film it with my, my DSLR. But once you've disabled it, then you're going to install the Creality driver. And, and that fixes issue. And so that's the part one of this is if you're still having issues flashing it, which this might even be something you do before this, if you're having issues flashing the bootloader, but I like, I like that method because it works no matter what. The second part is a fusion tip. So if you're 3D printing something, and what I found lately is that I like to make my own supports. And so these parts here, these are supports for this. It's, um, it's like a wood project where there are joints and, uh, and the wood is attached. And well, I need some supports, but the, the supports that, that Fusion or that uh, uh, Cura does puts holes in the holes and, or fills them. And this is gonna be difficult to get out. And so it's easier. All I need supported is that round part right there. So I made these guys. Now, whenever you make supports, you don't want the supports actually physically touching your model. But when you export it, if you, if you export them separately, and it's very difficult in Cura to put them back together because Cura doesn't have a multiple parts of an object option. However, what I've done here is I've made very, 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 very tiny solid connections. So if we create a sketch on here. You can see this. This is 0 0.005 millimeters long. And with that, it I've joined all of them. So all I did is I made a connection between two objects, which we want to make this a rectangle. Made a connection between two objects, so they're connected now, and 0 0.005. You want it to be something that is tinier than what your 3D printer can print, and tinier than the line size. You probably do a little bit of a bigger size, but I like going extra tiny just in case. And so then you select that very tiny object and you do the push pull and you have it, let's, let's go to where we can see it. And you push it up 0 0.005. And so you want it to be joining. So now it has joined them, which I already have them all joined together. So we're not gonna do this. But so those are all joined. And then what you would do is you would export it out to Cura. And I've already support, exported it before. And import. So 
So it is upside down and we need to flip it. Not touching anything, good. These are the ones that I'll actually print over here. These are just uh, their tests to make sure that I have all my tolerances correct and that the supports work. But let's see what this looks like. So you can see the little itty bitty line. Oops. You can see the little itty bitty line that's connecting the parts. Now the one bad thing is, is you can't do per model settings. That's uh, another tutorial that I can do. You can you can do this same thing and have them be together, but it's a little bit harder and more involved. But so now, take a look at the bottom, and they're not connected. It it shows a line there, but the line indicates, hey, this is too small for me to print, and and so that. That can sometimes be a negative if you make a part too small. I had to make these wings larger, but it's still it's it's useful for making a part with its own supports. And I've I've seen this done elsewhere with some other models that I've downloaded on Thingiverse, but I haven't seen anything where they've said it, you know, hey, this is how you do this. But that'll end it for this. And uh, good luck making stuff.